So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your seventh Angular tutorial in which I'm gonna show you what interpolation and expressions are in Angular and this would really be a quick two second video tutorial because there's not a lot to cover in interpolation and expressions on their own but we would need them really often as we proceed along with the web series. So let's get started. <music> Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at what interpolation is. It's simple. I don't know why I put that point there, but anyways, it's just going to relate really soon. Expressions used in interpolation and some prohibited expression syntax examples. That's it. So putting in very simple words, what interpolation basically is, is doing something like my variable. That's it. That's interpolation for you guys. So in this example, what we have is these two curly braces acts as the syntax for interpolation and you're interpolating and this my variable whatever right whatever you go right here is your expression so for example or i can write five times two which would be 10 and you can see that if we take a look here we get the output as 10. all right now we can change this to addition as well uh, it works just fine obviously okay now what we can do is that we can actually echo out some values as well so i can say my variable here and i can say something like my variable is uh, uh, my name right and if you save this mayhol it is easy now we have seen what is interpolation symbol expressions prohibited expression syntax examples now what we have is that uh, we cannot actually make use of all the JavaScript in here, especially like if you want to do something like, uh, let's just say, bitwise or of um, two numbers, like two and five. So what you would actually do is something like uh, bitwise or two or five. This performs the bitwise or between two or five. And bitwise or is pretty much just like you present um, everything in binary. 1042 and uh, yep 110 if i'm not wrong no 101 or 101 yep 1 2 4 plus 1 5 yeah so we are gonna perform a bitwise or for these two numbers so what we have in here is that 0 or 1 is 1 then uh, 1 or 0 is 1 then uh, uh, what we have what we have 0 and 0 or 1 is 1 so we have the answer as 1 1 1 which should give us um, 4 5 6 7 as the answer let's hope I don't insult myself on YouTube so we're gonna just um, set this bitwise or right here and hit save and take a look in the template let it reload or oh, let's just reload it ourselves okay yeah so the answer is in fact seven cool but we cannot do this thing right here inside an expression because angular makes use of pipes for its own use cases so you can see that uh, it throws us template parse errors so you need to do things like these in separate variables now what we can do is actually um, call the functions call functions as well but i would not recommend this because angular whenever re-renders the template would call that particular function again and again so you can so you can see that um let's just say this is my do some some heavy task i i just console log this uh called this dot i times just like this and I say i is 0 and if I do like something like uh, do some task heavy task instead do some heavy task there it is and what I want to do is check my console in here but we have some errors do some heavy task do some heavy task console.log call this dot i plus plus times 
and my i is in fact equal to zero. Column six, what the hell is this? Okay, we are missing a curly brace here. And let's just reload it one more time. So you can see that we get in console call zero times, one times, two times, three times. So Angular itself is calling it at least four times in um, this execution because it's rendering this HTML file four times and it would keep calling this function if I trigger change for um, let's just say any variable inside this uh, component. So we can mimic something like this very easily. So we can say set interval and I can just say this dot sum variable is math dot random this should be sufficient to trigger an angular change angular change to be performed so if you take a look in the browser you can see that this function gets unnecessarily called every time we are making change to just this variable so that's why you should not use functions usually in um, your um, html interpolation syntax in angular and uh, use just the property names so that was pretty much it for this tutorial and uh, in the next one we're gonna discuss a lot more interesting stuff about angular so see you then in the next video and one more thing if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to receive instant notifications